time for celeb-obsessed Roxanne to face up to her spending. To ram home their message, Jay and Benjamin are about to give her the red carpet treatment. Is this all right with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. you like okay. a limo? Right. A limo? Yeah. We're going to a celebrity do. Really? Yeah, mm. black tie bash and everything. Is that all right? Yeah, great. Do you like Brilliant. that sort of thing? Yeah, Is that up yeah. your street? Nearly there. Look, Jay. Celebrity mm. City. I'm bringing sexy back. Roxanne's accelerated spending over the last two years has given her a front row seat at this star studded event. Welcome to the annual Spenderholics Award. And the nominations for Biggest Spender are for her role in Handbag Queen. She's impressed the judges by spending a staggering £3,850 on celebrity inspired handbags. Roxanne Russell. The next nomination is for her heartwarming portrayal of a girl out of control, a whopping spend of £4,035 on shoes. It's none other than Roxanne Russell. And the final nomination for this category is a love story between a girl and her wardrobe. A staggering spend of £4,038 on clothes. She's nominated again. It's Roxanne Russell. And the winner is, if you'd like to reveal Benjamin, Roxanne Russell! Young Roxanne Russell, the 12,000 a year receptionist from Bewdley, has swept the board in every single category. Well done, oh, Roxanne! Oh, 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 yeah, no, no. Okay, all right. Now, Roxanne, you have absolutely wowed the judges in this category by spending in under two years on bags, shoes, and clothes a whopping £11,923. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, Mum would go mad. <laughs> That's almost <laughs> one year's salary. Are you looking forward to your career going from strength to strength from here, or do you think maybe it's time to hang up your spending boots? I think it's time to quit now. Mm. Putting all the pantomime aside, would you really like some help? I really would, yes. OK, well, that's what we're here for. It's the wake-up call Roxanne needs, but the road to recovery isn't going to be easy. She needs to go cold turkey. It's over to Jay and Benjamin to set a weekly budget. Do you have any idea of how much money you get through in an average week? Probably about £100 a week. You might mm. be surprised to know that in an average week, you get through £241. That's £45 more than her weekly wage and doesn't even include a minimum payment to her credit agency. Right. I didn't even realise I had that much. Is that more than you thought? <clears throat> yeah, a lot more than you I thought. You must be borrowing a lot more than you yeah, thought from your yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Reality's a hard pill to swallow. If Roxanne wants to change, she needs a taste of life without spending. For the next seven days, what we'd like to actually give you is £35. You've obviously got to eat for a week, you've got to get to work and back, and that has got to cover all of that. So all your luxuries, your magazines, your spending on the internet, fashion purchases, all of that, there'll be absolutely nothing for right. seven days. How do you feel about that? Um, pretty worried. I uh, don't really know how I'm going to cope with just that. Because um, I'll probably just spend that on a hairband or something. Ridiculous. So, yeah, I suppose we'll see. I think that today has been a real reality moment for Roxanne. She's never really sat and confronted the fact that she has this terrible debt. How she's going to get out of it, I don't know. It really depends on whether she's willing to work with us and enter into the real world and leave behind all her celebrity fantasy friends. We'll have to see.